Welcome to the WECS Daily News. For many years, the city of Attleboro has hosted a celebration to welcome in the holiday season. Due to COVID-19, the Attleboro Parks and Forestry Department has had to change their plans for this year. To learn more, we spoke with Parks Superintendent Derek Corsi. This year, obviously with COVID-19, um, we weren't able to plan our normal holiday traditions here in Attleboro. So we weren't able to have our holiday happening parade or the event after with the Santa Claus visits and the crafts and the um, face painting. So we wanted to do something, but we wanted to do something different that would allow for social distancing. So we came up with this uh, wreath decorating contest at the park. So the event is called Holiday Wreath Creations here at Capron Park. And it's uh, basically a wreath decorating contest. What you do is you would come to the park's office here at 199 County Street. You'd fill out a registration form. Um, you'd have, everyone's wreath would have a theme, so you can either dedicate it to a family member or a friend, you know, advertise your business. Um, and then once you do that, you'd pick a theme for your wreath. We'll give you a blank wreath. You'd bring it back to us, and then we would display it here in the park. Uh, to participate in the event, it would be a $20 donation and all proceeds will go towards next year's Holiday Happening Parade and Family Fun Day. The wreaths will be displayed um, along the park roadway, so what we plan on doing is flanking the roadway with uh, wreaths on each side so they can be clearly looked at while either driving or walking by. Uh, we're looking to get the wreaths up in the park uh, starting after Thanksgiving, so I believe it's that first Monday after Thanksgiving that's when they'll start being displayed. We're hoping to have all the wreaths back by December 7th, but of course, we're willing to take more wreaths uh, a little later if, if that uh, works. Yeah, the wreaths will stay up through um, New Year's Day. And uh, along with um, the wreaths being displayed, we're gonna have a little contest. Uh, we're gonna have ballots available and people viewing the wreaths can vote on their favorites in each category and um, the winners of each category will get a prize um, and we are looking to announce the winners on Monday, December 21st. So we want to make sure that people get to view these wreaths uh, before then so they can, they can vote and participate. There'll be different prizes, we'll have some gift cards to certain places, so you know it's, it's nothing um, crazy but it's a little something for, for putting the effort in. Um, I think it's a great way for the community to get involved and a great activity for people to do. I know this year around the holidays, um, people aren't going to be able to do what they normally have done in the past. So uh, we tried to think of a different way for uh, people to enjoy the holiday season. Um, and that was a community event for everyone to enjoy. Yeah. People can come and pick up their wreaths right now. We have them all in stock. Um, and like I said, you just stop at the park office and uh, we'll, we'll give you a wreath.